are going to be finishing up these chicken sandwiches. Yes, now we've we made the Paranays. We've got the Paranays. Our chicken that has been marinating mm -hmm. in our marinade is complete. So now we just need to do all the fun stuff and put it together. Oh, I like to hear that. If you wouldn't mind putting the Paranays on both the top and bottom pieces of the bun. Okay. And then just put them right here. Kind of spreading it like yeah. a butter or something? Oh, um, on the inside. Oh, okay. Well, you said top and bottom of the I'm buns. Sorry, the top, the inside of the top and bottom okay. of the bun. While so, you do that. I see. Yes. There we go. And then we like to grill that, and that's one of the things that make it so yummy. And now this is pretty thin. If you use the vegan mm -hmm. mayonnaise, uh -huh. so if you use regular mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, will that be a little thicker? Yeah, and it's really just up to the ratio that you use. The more marinade you pour in, the, the thinner it will be. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is our chicken that was marinated in our mild marinade, but then upon um, ordering or upon making this at home, you can choose a different heat level. If you were to say you wanted the medium heat level, we use our wing sauce. So this is like okay. a basting sauce. And you want to just kind of coat that over the chicken while it's on the grill. So this is step two of the three-step mm, peri-peri chicken. You can, you can go ahead and get those right here on the grill. And I put them... Bottom day, uh, bottom. Um, Paranays down. We're going to kind of oh, let it down. grill into the bread, kind of like how a grilled cheese has that... Um, when the butter bakes into the mm -hmm. bread, toast into the bread. Then what we're going to do is take our pineapple. This is just ringed fresh pineapple. Put it on the grill. Let it grill a couple minutes, and then when we flip it, we're gonna put the cheese on top of the pineapple. Let it Ooh. melt into the pineapple and put it all together. Excellent. What kind of cheese did you bring today? Provolone. Some provolone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my favorite. Excellent. So now we've used two different types of sauces, yep. the one for the marinade and then the And then medium basting, on top. yep. And then the step three of that process is if you would like to, at your table, use one of the other condiments. Okay. Mild garlic, lemon and herb, hot, extra hot, or habanero. Oh, you have it all. I know. You have a I little know. bit of everything in these sauces. And That's that is, great. in South Africa, peri peri chicken is as much its own food group as, say, barbecue chicken is here. Oh, okay. So if someone just says we're having peri peri chicken, it's it's that three it's step like process. It's like a barbecue. Okay. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Check these out. We're pretty much almost done let's here. Push, and are we just going to toast the one side of the bun or both sides? Both. Okay. We got them both good. going. All right, let's get this pineapple flipped over. Will you grab me a slice of that cheese, please? Oh, yeah. No, and just put it right here on top. That one as well. Mm -hmm. I like to go like this. Really this is a trick. Good. Get it nice and toasted in the okay, middle. I'll do this one here. Ooh. And. Oh, yeah, I can start to feel that get warm yeah. in the bread here. All right, so, so we ready to them? assemble? Yes, we are. We go like this real quick. All right, let's get the bottom piece down. See that? Oh, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Just lightly toasted. And then our medium peri-peri chicken. Just a little bit of a kick then. Just a little bit. It. Okay. I do like a little spice, so that's That's good. what I get medium, and keep in mind, there's three three hotter above that that I don't even do, so. Oh, wow, okay. Mild is fine <laughs> yeah. also. There's nothing wrong with getting it mild. Yeah. All right, then we've got our pineapple and our cheese. And see how fun that is, how it completely cooks onto the pineapple. Yeah, it really does. The cheese just almost conforms around that uh, and pineapple. And then we've got Top our toasted off. bun. Looks so good. And that's it. Excellent. Well, look at that. Check out these sandwiches. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Wow. I can't wait to try that. Audience, we're all trying this coming up in a little bit. But next, we're going to take a look at a healthy version of lunches for your kids. That's coming up next. The Dish on Health right here on the Dish Sticker.